I just started sharing of my screen. I believe you you all can see. Uh, I am here. I am showing you the Moodle account for MCOM uh, 409 section B. Uh, I believe you can see my screen when I scroll down. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good. Now these first five folders, one, two, three, four, and five. These five folders were included. Uh, in your first quiz that I gave you before the midterm exam. Uh, I announced the date for your second quiz already in my last class. I would like to repeat. I am going to give you another quiz exam on February the 7th, which is this coming Monday. I announced the date in my last class, which was on February uh, 26th. Uh, and let me tell you the syllabus. The syllabus starts from this folder, the folder which is titled as Agenda Setting Theory plus Uses and Gratifications Media System Dependency. And yes, all um, you can see in this folder, I have all my PowerPoint slides. With that, uh, Knowledge Gap Hypothesis Cultivation, you can again see my PowerPoint slides, Spiral of Silence, Encoding, Decoding, but of course, there is nothing in this folder except for the midterm that you have already submitted. This folder, critical theory, PowerPoint slides and PowerPoint slides on Marxist theory, then political economy theory, and then McLuhan. So for your, for your quiz that I am going to give you on February 7th, Monday, these six folders that you see on Moodle, uh, are part of that one, two, three, four, five, and six. These six folders. Uh, you can find my recorded lectures only from January twenty fourth. You see, uh, that is when we uh, we were moved to online teaching, and I started recording my lectures. However, before that, we covered all of this content in our in person uh, learning period. So for this reason, you cannot find any recording. You will only find notes and PowerPoint slides. For the notes, oh, I have been using the book which is given here. This book, I have been using this for my lectures, for preparing my lectures. And I have also encouraged you to read this book if you want help. Uh, to repeat, these six folders that you see on the screen right now are part of your uh, quiz exam, which I will give you on uh, Monday. Now, do you question related to this? Related to the content that I am I have shown you on Moodle. If you do, you can ask me now. There are some people who joined late. They just joined me. I think Maliha. Maliha, uh, you joined a little late, and so did Yashfa. Maliha and Yashfa, please turn on your cameras. And uh, for you, I would like to repeat the information that I was giving. I was showing my Moodle account. This is the same content that is appearing on your Moodle account for, for this course, MCOM 409B. Uh, you see these six folders that are titled as Agenda Setting, Uses and Gratifications, Media System Dependency, Knowledge Cap, Cultivation, Spiral of Silence, Encoding, Decoding, Critical Theory, Critical Theory Continued, and then McLuhanism. These six folders are included in your quiz exam that I will give you uh, this coming Monday. The date is going to be February the 7th. Uh, all right, if you do not have any question from here, I'm going to stop the sharing of my screen. Um, I will give you exam on Moodle. You will take exam on Moodle and uh, its time will be uh, from 12 p.m. to 12.50 sharp. You will take the exam uh, in, in, within your class timings. No extra time. Exam is going to be on Moodle. I will give you multiple choice questions. However, I have not developed the exam yet. I have not designed it yet. I will be able to share more details with you uh, after I have developed it. And this time I am also planning to include some maybe true false statements or matching answers. Uh, so whatever it is, it is going to be based on uh, either multiple choice questions or uh, true false statements or matching options. This is going to be the format. Other than that, I can also, all right. 
Now, uh, uh, um, about the exam, one more thing. Uh, so exam will include essentially everything that I have shown you on folder. Uh, on Moodle and everything that that we will cover until today. On Wednesday, we will learn about feminist uh, feminist theories. However, that is not included in the syllabus. I will not teach anything new on Friday. For my Friday's lecture, I will be in class to help you prepare for the exam. Like I always do. I always pair a day before the exam to help my students uh, this is what we will do for our class uh, on Friday. Any yes, ma'am. All right. Now let me let me again share my screen with you. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, on screen right now, you can see the syllabus, uh, the course outline for MCOM 409. It's the same document that is available on Moodle. Let's see what we have here, what we have done so far. We began our learning uh, from uh, the definition, type, and importance of theories. This is what we did in the very first week of semester. Then we moved to our discussion on propaganda theories. We discussed Harold Laswell, Walter Lippmann, and then we also quickly revised Herman and Chomsky's propaganda model. After that, we spent considerable amount of time in, in the discussion of normative theories like libertarian, authori authoritative, authoritarian theory, communist and social responsibility theory. Then we studied Karl Hovland, Lazarus Feld, uh, selectivity approaches, limited effects, bullets theory, uh, two-step flow and phenomenistic theory. All right. Uh, and then I, I gave you uh, a, a quiz exam that had syllabus until whatever we had covered week five. Soon after that, we moved to our discussion on uh, agenda setting theory, the spiral of silence theory, media system dependency theory, knowledge gap, cultivation analysis, uh, uses and gratifications, encoding and decoding. We did all of that. I did not cover this theory though, attitude change theory. This is the only theories of persuasion. This is, this is the only theory that we are left with. Uh, and then I also covered what is cultural studies, critical theory, Marxist approach and political economy theory. We covered all of this as well. And then we started our discussion on Marshall McLuhan and we have been doing this so far. Uh, about this question, how theory and research inform each other, uh, the process of theory construction. Uh, Maida, please remind me, um, uh, if I am not mistaken, we had a discussion in the class. Uh, I'm not sure if that was a discussion or if I assigned you an activity or, or, a, or a sort of homework. But I do remember we did discuss how theory and research are connected to each other. Can you remind me what was that? Did we discuss this in the form of a class activity or was that a homework? What, what exactly was that? Ma'am, we just discussed in class. We had a discussion in class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And may, I remember many of you, uh, you, your ideas were very clear about how theory and research are, uh, are connected. So we have covered this as well. Uh, talking about theories, feminism, we are going to do this in uh, for our class on Wednesday. And then as you can see in the course outline, I have specified last two weeks for the submission of media journal. Uh, and that's it. So essentially, we are only left with this uh, theories of persuasion. We'll do that soon after you are done with your exam next week. And that's it. And feminist uh, communication theories, we are going to do this on Wednesday. Other than that, we have covered everything in the syllabus. Uh, what I want to tell you here is that we have covered 90 to 95% of syllabus already. And we were we, actually, we, we covered this syllabus with very good speed, I would say, especially during our in-person learning session. So during our in-person period, we had already covered 80% of syllabus. And uh, then I have showed you the course outline, how much we have covered, and we are left with very uh, maybe just a couple of topics. And we will be covering that, um, inshallah, very soon. Any questions? No, ma'am. Let me, let me 
share my screen with you one more time. This is the course outline and when you scroll it down, here is the uh, sec section where I have uh, um, explained how I will assess your work. So uh, there was a quiz which I gave you before midterm. Its weightage was 20%. You already took that quiz and I have also shared your evaluation with you. Uh, then you uh, uh, did a midterm assignment. You have already submitted it on Moodle and I'll be grading it soon. And then comes another quiz now that you will take uh, on February 7th. Its weightage is 20%. And after that, you will have only journal. You will submit journal and its, evaluate, its weightage is 30%. That's it. So this is, um, I have strictly followed the course outline because I believe it is a sort of document that, I, that, I, that an instructor gives in the beginning uh, to let students know that this, is, will, this, this, is, this will be our trajectory uh, for the whole semester. I am going to uh, share my screen with you one more time. All right. So we will finish our debate today related to McLuhan's uh, media determinism. Uh, we already began our discussion on McLuhan uh, in our last class. However, today we will finish it. Uh, with that, I also assigned you a homework. Uh, by homework, I mean I ask you to uh, I ask you to come prepare to talk about this idea that how will you creatively come uh, with questions related to global village in Pakistani context? And I believe you all are ready today to 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 take part in the discussion. We, we will begin that shortly. Are you all with me? Any questions? Yes, Should I begin? Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, I told you that McLuhan is famous for two ideas. First idea is medium is the message, and the second idea is global village. Message or massage. We'll talk about that too. Uh, I have already I discussed this slide and this slide as well. And I think this was the slide where I left in my last class. I said I asked you this question that. According to McLuhan, media transform. Media has transformative power. What is the meaning of transform? Who can tell? To get into another shape. Yes. To rebrand or yes. To and to change something entirely. Media. Trans media, especially electronic media, has transformed us in our surroundings. And he also talks about sensory experiences. What are our sensory experiences? Who can tell? I explained this in my last class. What are our sensory experiences? Vajiha? Bete, what are our sensory experiences? Doubt. मैं जो हम देख रहे होते हैं जो हम महसूस कर रहे होते हैं एक्सपीरियंस अपने के क्या चल रहा है यस गुड जॉब दाउद बजीहा वुड यू लाइक टू गो ओवर सेंसरी रेडियो और द मैसेज कमिंग फ्रॉम टीवी बाई यूजिंग सिमिलरली you read a newspaper by using the sense of seeing your eyes so let now let me ask you another question which experience is going to be more pleasing or more pleasant for our senses number 1 reading a book or number 2 viewing a movie ma'am viewing a movie ma'am yes viewing movie a, very good and 
in in what experience are we going to use more senses in reading a book or in viewing a movie a movie a movie okay very good because when we are watching a movie we are using our sense of seeing and sense of hearing as well however when we are reading a book we are only using our sense of seeing this is what mcluhan said media transform our sensory experiences as well as our social order so he was of the view that media has entirely changed how people experience uh, let me move to my next slide one of important pro proclamations i told the meaning of word proclamation i remember uh, yashfa also took part in the conversation proclamation comes from the word proclaim and it its meaning is to declare to announce something he on the basis of that he announced that medium is the message or the massage now what he means by that i i i like everyone's attention here because i think it's very very important for all of you to understand what mcluhan means by that mcluh he thinks that medium or media is more important than message uh, recently this drama has been very popular parizad so reading that which is it's a drama which is based on a novel a book uh, reading novel uh, may may i mean the no, novel did not get as much popularity as the drama did and that's what mcluhan meant medium itself is the message the book the publication of the book parizad did not give the story as much fame as the drama gave and this is because of the medium tv is more popular medium than a book reading a book so it that's what he said technology determines experience here we are talking about a technology which is tv tv is technology it's the technology that determines experience and that is what mcluhan meant by saying medium is the message content doesn't matter what matters the most is the medium it's the medium that makes a message more appealing more pleasing and more sort of crispy for audience now your questions does this all make sense does this and was i able to explain this what 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 mcluhan meant when he said the medium is the message i haven't talked about the idea of massage yet i'll talk about that shortly hasan you raised hand go ahead please yes ma'am uh jitra usne mcluhan ne kaha hai ki the medium is the message ke depend kar raha hai ki kis medium se aap ye cheez dekh rahe hain isko is tarah bhi hum le sakte hain ke कुछ बंदे हैं वो कहते हैं कि हमने ये चीज फला चैनल पे देखी है इसलिए ऑथेंटिक है या हमने इसको फला सोर्स से लिया है तो ये इसलिए ठीक हो सकती है ये फला सोर्स जो है ये गलत बात नहीं करता तो इस अंदाज में भी इसको देख सकते हैं थैंक यू हसन यू आस्क अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन मक्लूहन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वाज फैंटसाइज्ड बाय टेक्नोलॉजी ही डिड नॉट टॉक अबाउट नेगेटिव इफेक्ट्स or drawbacks of technology you must have noticed this or when i when i gave you homework in my last class i also encourage you to read notes from book so mcluhan absolutely doesn't worry about uh, credibility of information or authenticity of information or negative effects of uh, media control and global uh, globalization he is very inspired by technology and he in other words i can say he looks at the bright side of technology bright side means he talks about positive things that technology alters our experiences it's technology that helps us determine our experience how we how we are experiencing uh, remember i have been asking you this question quite often in class uh, what would you do if i ask you to imagine a day without media now let's transform this question in another way uh, let's change this question what would you do if i ask you to stay away from technology for a day now i am not talking about media i am talking about technology and that technology includes everything light 
if you have if if you have to spend your day without light without electricity without fan without heating in your room uh, without any of the appliances or gadgets that you use so technology has changed our experiences that is why he says technology determines our experiences the way societies are built the way people act the way people behave the way people uh, make connections it's all technology that is determining things around us he is actually very fantasized and influenced by technology have i answered your question yes ma'am but he was not worried about he and that is one of the criticisms on mcluhan that he only sees at, at one side of the coin he only sees positive things related to technology technology also brings problems like inequalities like problems of equal access and many other issues however mcluhan doesn't worry about that he only says th thinks that medium is the message it's the media that that actually it's it's actually presentation that it's media that determines how people will experience i gave you for example i think let me ask you now this question how many of you have read the book harry potter please raise your hands how many of you have read the book raise your hands nobody in class looks like i do not have a single student who has who has uh, read the book now let another question how many of you have watched the movie okay very good very good shabash five people raised hands wajiha maida zariab hasan mahmood and mohib zahid see this is how mcluhan explained medium is the message when the same information was available in the form of the book very few people read it or very not very few majority however got to know about it through the movie in our culture i mean situation can be different in in west in uk in usa in any other country however for in pakistan it's the medium it it is it was quite possible that many people did not know about harry potter if they if hollywood had not made a movie it was quite possible this is what mcluhan meant okay and i wanted to talk about the idea massage massage the literal meaning of this word is like for example to rub a surface uh, gently uh, that is massage we uh, i gave you example so we get a massage of our feet if we have a long walk or if we do a really hard workout however the word massage here means manipulation medium has the power to manipulate it's the medium that determines how people are going to feel about it that's what mcluhan meant this is my uh, other slide here mcluhan talked about the idea of global village and he says that uh, uh, let's see what we have uh, what i have written here a new form of or social organization emerging as instantaneous electronic media tie the entire world into one great social political and cultural system i asked you about your understanding of global village mohit will you please go over the idea of global village that we discussed in last class what is your understanding what is global village what is the meaning of global village ma'am i was not in the last class but still have do you have any understanding about what global village is ma'am i have but i don't know how to explain global village okay now let's see the two ideas apparently seem contradictory village is a small small entity small area a village is a just a small area within a give a culture or a country global is something which is worldwide and here marshall mcluhan came with the term global village which means that because of faster means of communication and because of faster means of transportation the world has now taken the shape of a village that where people can easily stay connected 
Umair, can you read that content, this content that you see on the screen? A new form of social organization emerging as instantaneous electronic media tie the entire world into one great social, political and culture system. Very good. Now, world has taken the shape where we see uh, where the world has one great social, political, cultural system. Uh, now, I'm going to write something in the chat box. Technology has really altered the concept of time and space. Space doesn't matter. Space has shrunk. Time has shrunk. If anyone, let's say you have a family member who lives 50 miles away from you, who lives in, let's say, uh, Multan or Shekhupura or any other city, which is, uh, uh, of course, there is space between these two cities, but you can connect that person, connect to that person through technology, through, through, through phone, through internet, right? This is how technology has shrunk the space. It has also shrunk the time. When 9-11 happened, minutes after the incident happened, people got to know what had happened in the New York City. Similarly, I mean, you can get examples from other incidents as well. When APS attack happened in Peshawar, only minutes after the incident happened, people were seeing what had happened. I mean, people, radio, I mean, uh, uh, when, when there was no internet, radio would uh, deliver the same information, TV would deliver the same information. We earlier in, maybe in earlier times, uh, let's say when there was no uh, electronic media. In print media, let's say you get an information today, if something happens, in, if something important happens today, you will get information tomorrow because that's when you will get the next day's newspaper. However, time doesn't matter. The, the, I, I wrote two words uh, in the chat box, space and time. In current circumstances, space and time do not matter. Technology has, has shrunk space and time. Technology, this is how technology has brought us together. Does it all make sense? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this was the question that I gave you in my in my uh, homework. How do you see the application of the idea global village in local Pakistani uh, context? So let's begin. Our, I'm going to stop the sharing of my screen now. And I'm going to take your questions or uh, 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 we'll, we'll do that in the uh, uh, second half when we come back. Uh, I mean, after this class ends, I'll ask you to come back again by joining the same link. In the meantime, let me, excuse me. Let me share my screen with you again. Gee. We'll, we'll talk about this question in a minute, but um, does anyone have any question about the idea of global village or the medium is the message? Because McLuhan is famous for, for promoting these two ideas. Any questions? If not, let's discuss strengths and weaknesses of McLuhan's ideas. And this is given uh, in the book on page, let me see, on page 159. This picture is given in the book, in the book on page 159. McLuhan's theory is comprehensive. It's macroscopic. Macroscopic means it covers a large area like technology. Technology is accessible for a large number of people. Uh, and uh, it, it, it covers uh, uh, discussion on technology. Uh, which is a macroscopic issue, resonates with the general public in 60s and 70s. I told you that McLuhan proposed his ideas of global village and medium is the message in 1960s and 70s when TV was very popular. 
during that time, TV was very popular. So he, that's, that's when he proposed this theory. Elevates cultural value of popular media content. Elevates means it raises. It raises cultural value of uh, popular media. Anticipates means it expects a future in which media play a central role in fostering community. Enjoys longevity as a result of introduction of new electronic media. So uh, 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 McLuhan's theory, although it was proposed before the invention of internet, the theory became popular and has still existed after uh, McLuhan's death. McLuhan died in 1980. And that's what they are saying. This theory enjoys longevity. Longevity means uh, life, long life. Uh, its weakness is this theory cannot be verified by effects research. Effects researchers, they usually use a positivist, post-positivist approach. Uh, Dao, can you quickly help us recall what is post-positivist -positive, approach in research? Daud or Vajiha or Yashpa or anyone? Ma'am. And they say that when human behaviors are predictable. Very good. Daud, what were you saying, Bete? मैम ये बताने लगा था कि ह्यूमन जो बिहेवियर है उन्हें हम मैयर नहीं कर सकते मैयरेबल बेस्ट वेरी गुड दैट्स व्हाट दे आर सेइंग सो व्हाट मक्लुहन इज सेइंग इट कैन नॉट बी वेरीफाइड बाय इफेक्ट्स रिसर्च ही इज ओवरली ऑप्टिमिस्टिक अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजीज इन्फ्लुएंस नाउ ही आई आई टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस व्हेन आई वाज रिस्पोंडिंग टू हसनस क्वेश्चन that McLuhan is optimist. He's only looking at the bright side. I mean, just let's talk about this idea that world is taking the shape of a global village, globalization is happening, people are getting connected. Yes, we agree. But what about those societies where, which are still not digital, where technology is not as rampant and prevalent as it is in the West? So uh, we, we still have questions about those. So he's overly optimistic and McLuhan absolutely doesn't consider the, the, the negative side, the flip side of the coin. Ignores important effects issues, it's still related to this one, calls for non-linear thinking, the value of which is questioned. So McLuhan calls that only look at the bright side. I mean, globalization has led to many negative consequences. However, McLuhan doesn't appear to address them. Is overly apologetic of electronic media. Apologetic means overly appreciative of electronic media. Questions the value of literacy and argues for its inevitable decline. So these are some of the weaknesses and strengths. I think uh, all of this explains, um, excuse me. All of this explains the, um, give me a minute. This, uh, all of this explains McLuhan's theory very well. And I believe because this was part of your homework, I believe you also read McLuhan's theory in detail. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me now. Otherwise I will end the session and I will ask you to come back. Um, for uh, the homework or your homework response. So who would like to go first? What was the question that you drafted after, uh, after attending my lecture on McLuhan and after reading the notes from the book? I, I gave you examples that how can you... So when we talk about the idea of global village in Pakistani context, what questions come in your mind? Or in other words, how can you explain the idea of global village in Pakistani context? Who would like to go first? Ma'am, when we global village, we have to say that 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 we have to हो रहा है पहले ये था कि चाइना चाइना से शुरू हुआ यूरोप यूरोप से होते होते पाकिस्तान इंडिया मतलब पूरी दुनिया में तो ये भी एक ग्लोबलाइजेशन की वजह से ये तो ये ग्लोबलाइजेशन की वजह एयरलाइन ज्यादा वो ज्यादा सारा सिस्टम कनेक्ट हो गया पूरी दुनिया कनेक्ट हुई है तो इसी वजह से ये ज्यादा चीजें आ रही हैं 
और एक ये थी कि जो मोटापा बढ़ ओबेसिटी बढ़ रही है वो ग्लोबल जैसे जैसे ग्लोबलाइजेशन ज्यादा हो रही है ओबेसिटी ज्यादा हो रही है क्योंकि जो के एफ सी है मैकडोनल्ड है ये अमेरिकन ब्रांड है ये पूरी दुनिया के अंदर अपनी मतलब वो ब्रांचेस खोल रहे हैं तो उसकी वजह से जो ओबेसिटी है वो भी बढ़ रही है जैसे जैसे ग्लोबलाइजेशन आगे आगे जा रही है तो वैसे ओबेसिटी भी ज्यादा होती जा रही है ये वहाँ पे बताया हुआ था वहाँ पे बहुत ज्यादा एक रिसर्च पेपर है उसमें बड़ा बताया हुआ था very good thank you uh, daud i have only 2 minutes left for this session i am ending this session i'll respond to this uh, okay let me respond quickly and then we'll come back i have i have 11 participants in my class right now and i would like everyone to join back in and then i will do your uh, do your uh, attendance and i will ask each of you like what uh, your response to the assignment uh responding to doubts uh, concern which was is doubt here with us or has he left doubt um, doubt of uh, your second uh, i have forgotten uh, first concern which was about related to covid i totally agree uh, how okay, we can uh, relate that concept in the context of pakistan okay during the covid period it's been about 2 years almost uh, one year and nine months covid began so uh, 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 in in this covid period i believe very few of us traveled we were not traveling i didn't go to us uh, but i do know what happened in the us there was a time when us was one of the world's hard hit countries by covid and how how did i get to know about that i got to know about that through media through tv television uh same uh, now i would like to respond brazil was also once hardly affected by uh Br brazil was very hard hit by covid and we got to know about that information through tv i'll respond to uh, doubts uh, uh, okay let me end the session because time has run out and come back again and we'll continue the same discussion